Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem forty-six in chapter twenty-five. Chapter twenty-five is about electric currents and resistance. There we have a heater to heat a cup of water, right? This cup of water's volumes is given, and then it is one hundred twenty milliliter. You can get the mass of water, right? Use the density times volumes solver. So easy, you get the mass for this water, and the water's temperature. Temperature changes is given from twenty five degree to ninety five degree, so the temperature changes is seventy degree. Time taking is eight minutes. This can be converted to four hundred eighty seconds. And for this, uh, uh, the cup of water is heated. You can consider the energy taking, energy absorbed is so easy, right? This is C M dot T. Do you agree? C M dot T. It looks like you need to find the constant C and check your textbook. This C for water is given at zero. So the energy absorbed by the water is fixed, is solved. Now we look at the energy released by the heater, and we know this heater's voltage is given as twelve volts. Can you get the energy by the heater? Yes, you can use the power times the time taking, right? The power for the electric heater is the current times the voltages. Agree? Yes. So energy released by the heater is P times V, and P equal to I times V, right? The first question asks you. Approximately, how much current does it go through from the car's heater? Now, assume this uh, uh, manufacturer's claim is seventy-five efficiency. So, what does that mean? That means the energy absorbed by the water just uh, equals zero point seven five times the energy released by the heater. Agree? Yes. So we have this function. Mm -hmm. Energy conserved. And then we input the Q as C M dot T and U as I V T, right? Then very easily we can get the function for current I. Input all the given quantities, you get answer there. Mm -hmm. The second question asks you what is its resistance. You can see in this case the heater's voltage is given, current is fired, so we can find the re resistance in Ohm's law as the voltage is divided by current. So it is one point five ohms. Thank you.